am back with a new version of Driven by Moss for Reaper. And the last version 2 got a lot of fans. There was only one comment about it that it's a little bit laggy. So I worked the last months on that problem and how I solved that we will see in a minute. And by solving that issue we also have now the new feature that it's working on Linux. So wow, Linux is now also part of the game. What was the problem with the old version? The old version got a very complicated architecture so in the back end to talk to Reaper I had this eel script written the driven by Moss eel script and that was a problem that it was pretty slow it was fine for volume control and all these things but for directly playing while that was a little bit of a problem so the idea is to replace that with a proper DLL written in C++ but that meant a lot of work because I have to specifically develop that on three platforms and by doing it I thought why why not go the full way which was a very very complicated because the documentation is very uh, limited there how to do that for the reaper so that would be really nice if there would be a proper documentation about how to program extensions for reaper but thanks to a lot of forum entries i got that information and could come up really with that libraries for all the three platforms and going the full way i also directly integrated java to that so you only have to start reaper if you have installed the extension and that's it you don't need to run a separate program it's only Reaper so that's really nice for usability so what do you need to install the uh, extension it's also much simpler now than in a previous version and if you have installed the previous version we will look into uninstalling that first then you need to install Reaper SWS which I guess you already have that and then you just need to install some libraries and Java which I guess you also have already done that if you have the previous version installed so basically you only need to drop the new library files and that's it. So looking into that, how to do that. First we want to look into how to install the old version. So we have that eel script running automatically on startup. So that's something you can remove. Go to startup and simply say clear global startup action and then that one is gone. And it's still in your list of actions. So if you want to clean up, you can clean up that too. Here you see here it's a script, simply click here here on delete and it's gone so you remove the old version and you can also delete the folder where you kept the driven by moss helper utility that is no longer needed how do you install the new version it's very simple the only problem you have is you need to find the installation folder and uh, if you have the download here the driven by moss 3.0 you see in the download here you have installation information how to do that there it's also again explained in detail what you need to do a changes list there is some license information and this is the important folder the library folder that is what we need to copy to the user plugins folder of reaper how do we find that user folder on windows it's in your user folder the only problem is that it's hidden so you need to make them visible here it's a german installation so it's called here Oskoblend Elemente which is hidden elements so you need to make them visible and then you can spot an app data folder if you open that there is a roaming folder go there and then going down to R we also find that there is a Reaper and in that Reaper folder there is a user plugins folder and there are finally our DLLs so this is normally empty and what we need to do I already did that here but you just need to copy the full content of that folder from the download into that folder you can also copy everything if you want to save some space you can only copy the relevant library so that one is for Windows that one is for Mac and that one is for Linux but it doesn't harm anything if you just copy everything just take care that you copy here the full folder so the folder is intact because my extension is looking for that folder which contains all the char files for the Java extension so that's basically everything you need to do you just should check that the Java home variable is correctly set on Windows you can just type echo Java home so you should see okay I have it installed correctly here and it's the same on Linux and the world's most easy to use operating system Mac OS is the most complicated one who would guess that 
The problem with that is that for security reasons, they made the decisions that environment variables are no longer available to an application. So this is a bit of a problem. And the only way I could come up with solving that problem is a little bit on the complicated side. So what you need to do is you need to enter your Reaper folder. You go to applications and in applications you make a right click on the Reaper and there you can say, okay, Okay, I want to show the package content. And if you open then the package content, you see the contents folder. In contents folder, you see the info.plist file. And in that file, you can add the environment variable Java home so the application can see it. You need to take care if the you update Reaper, it will be overwritten again. So you need to do that again or just keep a backup of that modified file. What you need to modify in the file, you can see here. So this is an XML structure which you do not need to understand but after that end of this array you find here in that file uh, and that uh, key CF whatever here you need to insert these things here so this environment variable Java home and here you need to enter the current path of the Java virtual machine you would like to use you can either use 8 or 10 by now it's also 10.2 so I should update that as well and that's basically it so if you start Reaper and have that in a correct location you can now go to the preferences here and in the preferences scroll down to control over C web and here you have now the option if you put the libraries in the correct place to add the extension. So it turns up like a normal controlled surface library. And if you start to run that, you will see two things. This is just for your information. Okay, you see the Java home path is set correctly. If it's empty, then there you have a problem there. And then if you click on configure the normal user interface, as you have known before, will turn up and there you have the option to configure your instruments to remove them at new ones here from the list or do the configuration for that specific interface. As you have seen, a little bit simpler and much faster now due to the C++ implementation as a Reaper extension. So have fun with it and make some funky music. Yeah.